Hello friends, welcome again and this is my new project online food ordering system and I have developed this project in Spring Boot, React and MySQL. So for Spring Boot development we have used STS Spring Boot tool suits and for uh, React JS application we have used a Visual Studio code and for MySQL we are using the Jam server. Right? For port, right, we are using port 8080 for running the microservices which we have developed in Spring Boot and for uh, React JS, we are using port 3000, right? So these all technologies we have used for developing this project, right? Also, this is a mini project which has only and only customer features because uh, uh, this is a mini project. And if you need the admin features, you can uh, contact us. We will integrate the admin panel in this and you will have the admin panel too, right? So let's start with the functionality and features and go through that what we have developed inside the project and what other features are available, right? So once you run this project on port uh, 3000, you will get this home page. You can see this is the home page, and these are the sub by category. So these are the category of the food, right? And if you click on any of the category, you will be able to see all of the food belongs to that category, right? If you want to see the details of the food, just click on the view, and you will be able to see the details of the uh, food, right? So this is a home page, right? And this all products categories are coming from the api through the spring boot right this is about project and this is a static page there is nothing dynamic on it this is a category all category which is available in the system will be displayed here right currently we have six category but if you want to add more you can add it from the category add it from the database tracking that is a category table this are all products and you will be able to see all of the products here right and if you want to search any of the product just click on this test box and search like paneer right if you click on search you will be able to see all of the paneer uh, items here right and if you want to see the details just click on the view click you will you will be able to see the details of that product. this are register and if you don't have user id and password then you can register from this page and after that you can log in with that this is a login from here you can log in and after that you can perform certain operations this is a feedback you can submit this feedback and the admin will be able to see but there is no admin so you can see the feedback directly in the database <clears throat> right now i am going to log in as a customer so the user id is commit at the rate gmail.com and the password is test right and you will get this task force after logging you can see the menu has been changed because it's a session driven it's renders according to the session if you if you don't have login then it will show the different menu but if you log in it will show the different menu right so this is the dashboard right here you can see home all products my cart so in my cart it's empty so it's showing empty but if you click on the my orders then it will show you the order history right which you have placed earlier Right. if you click on this icon you will be able to see the details of the order and you can print the receipt from here right. it will show all of the details like what items you have ordered for what date what are the total amounts each and everything it will show right so this is the my account this is a submit feedback from here you can submit the feedback and then the my account from here you will be able to update your account details right now i am going to order some of the food items right so the all products and uh, Suppose if I am going on the category, there is no category of it. But so, quick view, right? One plate, uh, vegetable noodles, and then I need this two plate, right? The at category, two plates, and then this I need quick view, and one plate, this one. So, I have added three items into the cart, but I don't need this item so just click on this and you can delete it right and then after you if you want to add more item you can click on the continue shopping and you can add more items in your cart and if you click on the checkout it will show you the payment details you can enter your card details here so this is a dummy payment gateway you can enter whatever you need right you can there is no need of entering credit card, correct credit card details right if you click on the submit total 400 amount will be paid and you will get your order history details that is a 393 
and the whole details are available here right so if you want to see the details of your order here so you can see it in my order so you can see 393 and once you click on this you will be able to see the details of the order here right so this is all about the project right and if you click on the logout then above menu will not be displayed because it's a session driven right it renders according to the session let me show you logout you can see the my administration is not displaying here right you for seeing that option you need to log in it again right so these all features we have implemented in this project online food ordering system as i told you earlier this is a mini project which has only and only customer features right but if you need any enhancement any updates inside this project just put it into the comments we will incorporate those changes and we will make this project more better and better according to the requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much